Welcome back. This is Dr. Chen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about pathogenic triggers of Hashimoto's thyroiditis once the gene is turned on. So when we look at different pathogens, there are very common ones and not so common ones that can create triggers for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Number one is H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori. This is a very common infection of the upper GI tract and it can create symptoms of GERD or gastric reflux disease, right? So when you have reflux signs, indigestion, persistent cough, uh, or especially at night, you may actually have H. pylori. And if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it could potentially create an additional trigger. Next is Toxoplasma gonad. This is a common infection um, from cat feces. So the domesticated cat or cats in general will can create this and it could be excreted through the fe fecal matter. So if you can breathe in this stuff or somehow get it into your mouth or whatever, you can create an infection and it can create a trigger for Hashimoto's. Another one is Yersinia enterocolitica. This is a common infection from uncooked pork, right? So if you have uh, pork um, on a regular basis, you want to make sure that pork is completely cooked through. Another one is Candida albicans. That's a overgrowth of yeast. Uh, this can create uh, problems for uh, the GI tract as the vaginal areas for women. The most common uh, way you can develop Candida is through prolonged antibiotic therapy. So if you had multiple rounds of antibiotics, uh, or you've had many rounds over the years, every time you take an antibiotic, you may get candida overgrowth. Another one is hep C or hepatitis C, and that's transmitted through uh, blood, basically, or sexual activity. Another one is Epstein-Barr virus. This one's a very, very common virus that mimics the thyroid gland or can create molecular mimicry of the thyroid. So Epstein-Barr virus is a very common one. So is a cyto cytomegalovirus or CMV. These two are very common. Another one in the herpes family that people don't really know about is called herpes virus 6 or HHV6. This in particular will create a disruption in the brain. So it affects brain tissue. So HHV6 or herpes virus 6 is another infection that people don't realize they may have. So you can run all these tests. You can run stool panels, GI panels, blood panels, and, and see if there is a infection that might trigger or exacerbate Hashimoto's thyroiditis, right? So it's important to check for these pathogens to make sure you don't have these as a trigger, along with food triggers, lifestyle triggers, etc. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side.